One of the best ways to take your performance to the next level is to focus on the space between your songs or transitions. One of the best way to create great transitions when you're performing with tracks is to create crossfades between songs. Hey, this is Will Doggett. Today I wanna to show you how to crossfade songs in Ableton Live. It's super easy to do, so let's get started. This week's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital and the brand new Avastor HDX Pro. Now I love that these drives are handcrafted and reliable. So they're assembled by hand and formatted by hand. It's not some bulk assembly process. So you know when you get it, it's been tested. Every single port is tested on it and you know that it's going to work. Now you also get a four year warranty with this drive. So you know that it's always gonna be reliable no matter the gig. So for more information about this drive or any Oyen Digital drive, head to oyendigital.com that's O-Y-E-N digital.com and use the code Will10Oyen for 10% off anything in the Oyen Digital store. Thanks so much to Oyen Digital for their support of From Studio to Stage. Now, before we get started, I have to confess, there's no true crossfade between songs in Ableton Live. Now, granted, in Session View, yes, we do have the ability to crossfade and assign songs to A and B, but that's typically what a DJ would do. Now, if you're performing on stage with tracks over in Arrangement View, how do you make that crossfade happen? Now, even though there's no crossfade, let's think about what a crossfade is essentially, right? So we have song one, we have song two, we overlap those two songs, and while song one is ending or fading out, we're fading into song two. Now, the way I used to do this, because you couldn't uh, apply fades across multiple clips, was use the utility tool. I've talked about that before in lots of different videos and in courses on the site. But the great thing with an update to Ableton Live 10 is now you can apply fades across multiple clips. So I'm gonna show you how to apply those principles and a couple editing tricks to create a crossfade in Ableton Live. So let's dig in and take a look. So in this scenario, I've got two songs and right now they're going back to back, right? So the first thing I wanna do is think about when do I want that transition to happen? When do I want song one to start ending as song two starts? Now, one of my favorite tricks to do transitions, uh, to create great transitions, is to think of the transition from the audience perspective. Uh, this is particularly important in a church setting. A lot of you watching this are worship leaders, music directors at churches. So you're thinking from the congregation standpoint. What I often see people do is think about the song from what they hear in their ears, right? This song ends, they've got to wait for the next uh, click to start, and so they build the transition that way. But what I often find is by nudging it a little bit further, even muting the click, creating the transition, and then pressing play, and again, listening from the audience or the congregation's perspective, helps you make a great transition. Now, because I know these two songs, I know I wanna trim about four measures at the end of my first song uh, to start my click early for the next song. So here's what I'm gonna do, is select those four measures in Arrangement View, and I'm gonna use the Delete Time Shortcut. This is my favorite shortcut, one of my favorite shortcuts in Arrangement View. Uh, and all we do to do this is Command, Shift, Delete. Now. If you don't know the edit time commands on Arrangement View, I would encourage you to really check those out. I've linked to the video below uh, in the previous video where we talk about editing your song in Arrangement View. Those are worth even maybe pausing this video and going to watch that to learn those. So using delete time, you'll notice what happened is um, I deleted time and those songs kind of moved to where they're now uh, right against each other a little closer. First thing I wanna do after deleting time is go back and, and bring out the four measures that I previously deleted from the track. Super easy to do. So I'm gonna unfold this group and then I'm gonna drag uh, and select all of the clips that I previously had. So let's get all those selected. Then I'm gonna drag them back out four measures. So let's just put our mouse to the right here at the end of the clip. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So now I have the original length of that song. And if we close this group down, you'll see what's happening. We've overlapped the songs. Now that's uh, step one. And if your song naturally has a, a fade out and the next song naturally is a fade in, that might be enough for you. But I'm gonna take it a step further and actually apply a fade out and then a fade in. So let's uh, open our group track back up one more time. So now let's apply our fade at the end of this song. So what I'm gonna do is select the amount of time that I want the fade to be. So I kinda want it to fade out across those four measures. So I'm gonna select uh, the last four measures of this song. We're gonna go up and make sure we have all of them. And then I'm gonna use my Create Fades shortcut. So that's Command Option F. And when I do that, you see what it does is automatically apply a fade out of all those tracks at one time. Now let's do the same thing we did for song one, but in inverse. So as opposed to fading out, we wanna fade in. So I'm going to expand my group and I wanna select again four measures. So I'm gonna start here at the top 
and we're gonna go over four measures and then make sure we get all of those stems at the same time. Now, one trick I've learned in doing this, uh, and I've heard from a lot of people that say, hey, I'm trying to create fades and it's not working across multiple clips. If your clips are grouped, make sure you don't grab the group track as well as the stems, just get the stems. Uh, so in this case, you can see, I didn't start with that first track that says Dream 95 BPM. I started with the Dream Stems 793 band as a starting place. Now, with those four measures selected, I'm gonna do the same command, Command Option F, and that's gonna apply my fade in. So now if you visually look at this, song one is ending, and as song one is ending, song two is starting to fade in. So that's an easy way to create a crossfade between two different songs in Ableton Live, even when you have your stems grouped per song like I have here. So if you wanna learn more about using Ableton Live for playback and using Ableton Live on stage with tracks, head to fromstudiosage.com slash playback. I've gathered together all the courses and material we have about uh, using Ableton Live in a playback situation on stage for tracks, for stems, for click tracks, uh, and I think you're really gonna enjoy that. So if you use Ableton Live as an artist, as a band, worship leader, music director, head to fromstudiostage.com slash playback to check out everything we have about using Ableton Live on stage. So thanks so much for watching this. See you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.